Innovation's been part of our DNA. We've always been pushing the boundaries of technology, but I think lately in the past four or five years, we've never seen the pace of innovation at the scale it is today. The traditional innovation cycle in our industry is more like six or seven years for a project. Cloud has enabled us in our technology mantra to drive that to first six or seven months. Now we're down to six or seven weeks and our aspiration is on some of these things in prototype to be in six or seven days. Rapid experimentation is really at the core of what's driving new value in Woodside. What Cloud's allowed us to do is to work in a much, much more iterative fashion. Uh, we can instantly start working on the problem. We can build these minimum viable products which allow us to test some of the key assumptions very rapidly. And then we can iterate. In a lot of the problems that we're solving, uh, we don't have a clear idea of what the solution is going to look like. And it requires this iterative experimentation which Cloud is very uh, naturally suited to. Pluto is one of our LNG plants up in northwest Australia and it was commissioned and started up in 2012. When we built it, it has over 200,000 sensors built into the plant measuring all sorts of attributes every minute of every day. Now that plant needs to run 24 by 7 and if there is an upset in the plant and it stops running, you know, it's a big deal for us. IoT and all those sensors, and we now stream those into the cloud from about two years ago. We've been able to optimise the production of that plant, the maintenance on that plant, in a way that we were never able to do in the past. When we built Pluto, we installed a number of sensors. This was to assist in the operation of the plant. The total number was in excess of 200,000. We now run over 6,000 algorithms on that sensor data to provide additional insight into our operators and to our engineers in optimising plant operations and maintenance. The reason we chose the cloud environment over an on-premise uh, solution was threefold. First of all, it gave us flexibility. We could choose the architecture that we wanted to solve a problem and we could choose it in a short space of time and it allowed us to prototype very quickly. The second reason is architecture itself in the cloud allows us to do things we couldn't do on premise. We can design our platform for data science such that it is optimal for the execution of algorithms. That is not something that we think we could do efficiently and cost effectively on premise. And the final answer is it's all about people. People are our most valuable asset and having them wait or be delayed due to the time it takes to run an algorithm is not a place where we want to be. I think if I look back at our journey, a couple of things that we did to some degree by accident was just getting on with it, give it a go. You know, we went from 10,000 sensors to 200,000 sensors without really thinking about it. And I think that's been a, one of the key learnings is just get out there and give it a go and see where the value in your business uh, will be. The first thing would be get the right people involved. We were very careful to get people um, who already had a lot of trust and respect within the company. They typically worked within our company for a while. They knew uh, what things did and didn't work. I think Woodside's in an interesting spot now where we're not scared or feel as though we're held back by the infrastructure or the constraints of how we used to do things in the past. And it's willing to experiment and be agile in the way we choose the path in the future. <laughs>